What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon VGC video. In today's video, I actually wanna talk about the brand new revealed Pokemon for Pokemon Legends Arceus Basque Legion and what stats I think it's going to have slash really want it to have. I'm gonna talk about my dream Basque Legion build and why I built it a certain way because there is some nuance to it. It isn't just increasing numbers, uh, but before we get into that, do me a favor, guys. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. Which of the brand new revealed Pokemon are you most excited for in the upcoming games? So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We are talking about Basque Legion, the brand new Water and Ghost Basculin Evolution. But before we can talk about the uh, Basque Legion, we need to talk about where they went wrong with Basculin because this thing had everything it needed to succeed except for stats. So, Basculin is a Gen 5 Pokemon with the ability adaptability, and that's honestly the only ability that matters. You could run Mold Breaker, you could run Reckless, you could run the Blue Strike form for Rockhead, but adaptability was where it's at. Why is that? Adaptability actually multiplies your stab moves by 2 instead of 1.5. So let's say you're using a base 100 power move uh, and, you know, you're, you're a Basculin. So instead of that base 100 power water move turning to 150 because you're a water type and you have stab on it, it ends up being 200, which is a major boost. That is incredible. And we have had adaptability Pokemon in previous years have absolutely absurd damage output uh, like Mega Lucario or Porygon Z because of their high base stats. But when it comes to Pokemon that have adaptability, they typically tend to have just okay or pretty good attack or special attack stats. What comes to mind here is Dragalge with um, the ability adaptability, obviously, but only a 97 base special attack being its highest offensive stat. That is mainly because of its insanely high damage output, even though it's under 100. So when they made Basculin, I had to imagine that since it was one of the first adaptability Pokemon, they were like, yeah, let's not give it too high of an attack stat or it might be a little busted they went a little too far in making sure it wasn't that good. So, Basculin stats are 70 HP, 92 attack, 65 defense, 80 special attack, 55 special defense, and 98 speed. Now, it has a pretty decent speed here at 98, and, you know, water adaptability seems pretty good. We've seen Crawdon be absolutely absurd with it. But 92 just isn't enough, especially with the low bulk. It's like a glass cannon, but you sort of like got the great value glass cannon. Like it isn't quite doing what it needs to do. And especially with Intimidate Pokemon all over VGC and the fact that this thing isn't immune to fake out, it isn't gonna be able to do much. 92 is just too low of a um, of an attack stat for an adaptability Pokemon that isn't something like Dragalge with high damage output moves. Like a Draco Meteor from Dragalge hurts, even though it's 97 base special attack. Uh, Basculin, like the best water move you're going to get on this thing is going to be like liquidation and liquidation is 85 base power. It's not doing that much. Like you're comparing a 130 base power dragon move to an 85 base power water move. Like it just doesn't have the damage output. The most recent buff we got to Basculin was in the Isle of Armor DLC where it got flip turn. Now flip turn is an amazing move. It allows you to switch in and out of the field uh, without having to not attack, I suppose. Um, and it allows you to bypass things like arena trap or shadow tag. It's it's really nice. And with a high speed stat of 98, if you were to scarf a basculin and give it adaptability, it'd be able to do something. I made a recent video with it. It just isn't that great. It is very underwhelming. And an example of its underwhelming nature would be the fact that a I guess I, I I think the Kalkai Ram was like a choice band Jolly Basculin was incapable of one shotting a max HP Incineroar at minus one. That is just absurdly low. It doesn't do enough to one shot a super effective uh, hit. So or a Pokemon with a super effective hit. So I guess where I'm gonna lean into most when it comes to buffing this Pokemon is making sure it has some damage output. It is able to utilize Flip Turn effectively, but isn't too good because like I said we don't want it to hit like Lucario levels or even Porygon Z levels because I am going to make it faster than base 90 speed so let's get into it. My thoughts for buffing Basque Legion uh, are going to be to make sure that um, its ghost typing allows it to 
be immune to fake out obviously it has that immunity to fake out but it's also a water typing with adaptability so i mainly want to make it like the perfect incineroar counter and that isn't necessarily because incineroar is too good and not because i want to make incineroar irrelevant but i want to make incineroar slightly less consistent thus making room for other mons with similar niches think scrafty or hitmontop which would obviously have a much better um Basque legion matchup uh, but I also don't want to make it too fast because giving it too high of a speed would make it really broken. It'd be like a stronger Porygon Z in a way because of its multiple stabs and the fact that it's, you know, higher than 90 speed. Um, so yeah, I, got, I want this thing to be good, but still have outright counters. So here's what I have. This is my Basque Legion build. My Basque Legion build is going to have 80 HP. 120 attack, 70 defense, 90 special attack, 60 special defense, and 100 speed. And it's going to keep the ability adaptability. I want to play into that because I really love the damage output that it would have. Now, the boosted attack stat to 120 is actually very specific. Like I said, I don't want this thing to be too busted, but I want it to be able to check Incineroar consistently. 120 is pretty scary for an adaptability mon, but it isn't too difficult to play around at high levels of play. 120 is actually just enough where after an Intimidate, a Jolly Choice Banded Basque Legion can still one-shot a max HP Incineroar with Liquidation, and it's only doing 100.9%. So it's a one-shot, but only if you're Choice Banded. It's still going to easily live that thing if you're not Choice Banded. So that does allow it to have a consistent check to Incineroar while not being, you know, absurdly, absurdly broken. Now, the bulk has only been increased marginally. I added 10 to the HP stat and 5 into each defense stat. Uh, so it's not to hit nothing in particular, or it's not to hit anything in particular, but it's just to reflect an increase in size physically and, you know, visually, uh, and thus increase the bulk. It's still too frail uh, to, like, eat hits comfortably, so it's still like a glass cannon, right? But it isn't hitting that level of glass cannon status that other Pokemon would, like Absol, where if you get hit by a priority move, you are you might get one shot by anything with like a slightly high attack stat. So it's going to be an effective glass cannon, but still be able to tank one, maybe two hits from a super effective Pokemon. Granted, the attack stat isn't too high or if you've like intimidated or snarled them. Now, the special attack stat was actually increased to 90 to allow for a possibility of mixed sets. Now, Having the ghost typing means that it's obviously going to want to get shadow ball. I think it's very rare for a ghost type to not get shadow ball. Uh, and also being a water type means it's going to have access to things like hydro pump or surf or even muddy water. Uh, so what I wanted to do here was to allow for mixed sets to be used, uh, but not be too strong. Obviously, I wouldn't want to give this thing like 110 special attack, 120 attack, because then it's like a 50-50 call on what it's going to be. Obviously, the optimal Basque Legion would thus be the... Um, physical offensive uh the physical offensive set but by giving it a pretty usable special attack stat i can actually make it so someone might opt to run like modest life orb or uh timid choice specs and be able to use things like choice specs surf with adaptability and deal decent damage to both pokemon or uh life orb hydro pump being able to like one shot an incineroar if you're running like a modest nature so yeah something else to note here that i actually didn't think about while making this set is this is yet another Pokemon that checks Lander Asterion for all of you who hate that Pokemon. I really don't, I think it's fine, but um, being over 100 speed and being able to obviously one-shot an Incineroar with the liquidation means that this thing can like flip turn all over Lander Asterion, so that's pretty cool. Now, the speed tier is where I was especially careful with this thing. I only increased its speed from 98 to 100, and there's actually a specific reason for that. 100 is the most crowded speed tier as far as I'm concerned uh, in VGC. As far as I can remember, 100 is like the most crowded speed tier in Pokemon. You have things up there like Charizard, like Galarian Zapdos. In fact, let me pull up a list of base 100 speed Pokemon. If I go on Pokemon Showdown and scroll down to 100, I can list quite a few relevant Pokemon. Here, here we go. Wow, this is a long list. Um, so we have Pokemon like Zapdos, Galarian Zapdos, we got Charizard, we got Comfey, we got Volcarona, we have Entei. There are so many Pokemon that just hit 100 speed. Salamence, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mime, Galarian form, not that that matters, but you, you catch my drift, right? Uh, the reason I hit 100 with this Pokemon is actually to make it so it wasn't outright busted, but required smart play. So at face value, you know, you could just hit things with this Pokemon, but if it gets outsped or even speed crept to the point where it's like a speed tie, um, 
that would require you to make smart use of your partners. Like to give this thing everything it needs to succeed, you need to make use of Icy Wind Pokemon. You need to be able to have like a fake out po Pokemon next to it to allow it to reliably take out like, I don't know, a Charizard clicking Solar Beam into it, which would obviously one shot. Um, uh, you need to be able to like partner this thing next to like a Tailwind Pokemon. It's speed control that makes this thing viable. In the same way that like Kyogre in restricted formats is really scary, but kind of slow um, and requires like uh, the use of a Tornadus or uh, the use of a Zarina to block Grassy Glide. You need to be able to play this thing effectively uh, with speed control Pokemon or just generally good support Pokemon. So yeah, this is going to be a Pokemon that requires, you know, uh, it, it's easy to use at like low level, obviously. It's sort of like Dracovish. You can just choice scarf it and hit things with it. But at high level, it, it loses a little bit of viability unless you're able to have smart board positioning and good partners and just build an overall good team for it to make use of. So yeah, uh, in total, this thing actually only has a 54 point stat increase, which is pretty conservative for an evolution. As you know, like you've seen things get absolutely insane stat increases from uh, evolving, uh, but yeah, 54, I had to be very conservative this thing in order to not break it. You could literally give this thing 120 attack and just 100 speed and leave everything else the same and it would still be pretty good, but I wanted a little bit more nuance to it. So yeah, uh, as far as new moves, it really is only missing ghost coverage and I don't think it needs close combat. Basculin obviously does get uh, some fighting moves. It does get superpower. It does get reversal. It's not like it's going to use anything but superpower. Uh, but I don't think it needs close combat or anything. I don't think it needs ground coverage. I think really all it needs is that ghost coverage and ghost stab uh, that it would get as a ghost type. So Shadow Ball, something I want for it. Shadow Sneak is obviously something that could be pretty good, but I don't think it's required. Having Aqua Jet as Basculin could be good enough, but uh, Shadow Sneak could be nice for allowing for this thing to beat things like Dragapult, which would otherwise be a pretty solid counter for this thing. And I think the only Ghost Stab that makes sense for this thing is going to be Poltergeist, which not my favorite move in the game. I really hate missing it, but there are very few other Ghost moves that make sense unless they add something like Shadow Fang or something like that. Um, that would be like an exclusive move to the Basky Legion. But yeah, uh, I think that this is overall like a very conservative yet powerful uh, way to evolve Basculin into a stronger Pokemon. And I'm really excited to see what this new form can do in future VGC formats. We're not certain if they're gonna end up patching the new Pokemon into Sword and Shield, or if we're gonna have to wait until Gen 9. I'm personally of the opinion we're probably gonna have to wait till Gen 9, but I wanted to get my thoughts out there as to what it could do in competitive and how I'd like it to be built. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.